Tired of waiting around for your insurance company to get back to you after a claim? Avoid the trouble and place a face to the name of all your insurance needs. Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, a member of TGIF Solutions, provides a wide range of services and can promptly provide the service you expect when you need it most. The team at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates has expertise in all lines, including home, auto, life, business, and farm insurance. Stop in at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, located at 331 Arthur Street in West Catanning, for a quote today.
With over 40 years of experience, Steffi's Country Catering in Adrian provides sumptuous home-cooked food served by a friendly professional staff to make your next event worry-free. Ask about their grazing tables and three-tiered cheese ball cakes. Sugar Rush Cupcakes by Tara are available by order, and be sure to check out their Facebook page for weekly Sunday takeout specials. Mention High Top Sports Network when you book your next event to receive a special 10% discount.
or surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Ryan Bowser in Ford City today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Our meat crew has our meat case standing tall. Every day we cut fresh, every single day. We have great quality, we have great prices. You don't want to miss out, so make sure you come down and check us out. And also, look for our Facebook page, hashtag Save On Meat. We have a ton of great giveaways every week involving meat. You're not going to want to miss that either. We also have Chef Prepared, Chef Paul Prepared Sushi, every day fresh in. Sushi Wednesdays, $5 sushi rolls, and you can win by liking and sharing our Facebook page. A uh, sushi man this shirt. Thanks for all the support out there, everyone. We can't do what we do without you. Come and see us. Tired of waiting around for your insurance company to get back to you after a claim? Avoid the trouble and place a face to the name of all your insurance needs. Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, a member of TGIF Solutions, provides a wide range of services and can promptly provide the service you expect when you need it most. The team at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates has expertise in all lines, including home, auto, life, business, and farm insurance. Stop in at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, located at 331 Arthur Street in West Catanning, for a quote today.
Tired of waiting around for your insurance company to get back to you after a claim? Avoid the trouble and place a face to the name of all your insurance needs. Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, a member of TGIF Solutions, provides a wide range of services and can promptly provide the service you expect when you need it most. The team at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates has expertise in all lines, including home, auto, life, business, and farm insurance. Stop in at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, located at 331 Arthur Street in West Catanning, for a quote today.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca, bringing you the action here tonight between two District 6 volleyball teams, the West Shemokin Wolves playing host to the, uh, excuse me, Bishop Guilfoyle Marauders. West Shemokin was able to get it done in JV, winning two sets to none, so varsity, I'm sure, will want to follow suit. Uh, the JV team, winners of two straight sets, 25 to 21 in set one, and then in set two, winners 25 uh, to 16 here. A little bit of an earlier start than what we're used to here on HTSN, used to uh, the JV getting started at six, but I will not complain. Les Shemokin awaiting to announce their starting lineups as well as the visitors in purple. And while we have a second, I'm going to take a quick commercial break while we get things underway. Wait, wait, nope, maybe not. Just heard the mic turn on down there, so I think we're, yeah, we're going to stick around here and see what we got going on here. We're going to pause quickly here for the national anthem. And now for the starters here, starting with the visitors. Get as much of them as I can in there without a uh, little bit of a, the batting cage in the way a little bit, but we'll work around it. And now for the home West Shemokin Wolves starters. Freshman number seven, Ezra Osterling. Junior number two, Luke Palmo. Junior number 10, Owen Stover. Senior number 11, Gavin Sultan. Senior number 18, Wyatt Lauder. Senior number nine, Evan Cornish, and senior number one, Eric Spencer. Thank you, head coach Scott Craig and Melinda Booker. <laughs> 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 
And now with both of those teams uh, having their starters announced, we're ready to start off here in the first set. I'll wait to see who will have the first serve here of the match. Leave the Marauders will have first serve here for this game. But I'm not 100% certain, so we'll just have to uh, wait it out. So Luke Palmo quickly checking in for Gavin Solly. Making sure the uh, poles on the ends of the net are secure. They are now. And actually, Wes Shemokin will start with the opening serve. That'll be Ezra Osterling back to get us started. Blocked in front there by Spencer and Lager. So, Wes Shemokin getting on the board first here in the first set. Osterling to serve again. That one short into the net. So, the Marauders tie it up here early. Trying to see around the net there. Looks like... Uh, number one, Ian Bennett, back to serve here. Bennett sends that one over, received by Palmo. Set there by Spencer, and then hammered down there by Evan Cornish. An emphatic spike there from Cornish to give West Shemokin the lead once again early on here. It'll be the libero, Luke Palmo. Set to serve here for the Wolves. Gets that one across, received by the Marauders. Bennett sets up his teammate there and hit across by Matthew Woolridge. Hammered there by uh, Evan Cornish. So we're back tied up at two apiece here. Up to serve now, it'll be Nick Anderson, the junior here for Bishop Gilfoyle. Serve received there by Osterling, set by Spencer, hit over. In front, Gavin Sully able to spike that one down and give West Shemokin the lead back here. Back and forth we go early on in this first set. So it will be the senior, Eric Spencer, to serve. Just a cannon, and that one... Deflecting off a marauder and heading into the bleachers. So Spencer adds another point, building the lead up to two here for the Wolves. Spencer with another rocket. Blocked in front there by Sully and Cornish. And Sully able to get the point here for the Wolves. They're starting to open things up a little bit here. Spencer back to serve again. Spencer rockets that one too far as it goes out of play. Marauders will take over, and now it will be the libero, Ethan Miller, serving it up here for the visitors. He gets that across, received by Palmo. Hit across by Cornish, and they're going to say point to the Marauders. So back to just a, well, wait, okay. <laughs> Everybody's a little confused out there. So back to just a one point West Shemokin lead as Ethan Miller prepares to serve. Gets it across, Palmo 
to Spencer. Hammered down. That one looked like it was dancing with the line there, but they're going to call it in play. So West Shemokin picking up the point, extending that lead back to two. As Evan Cornish prepares to serve. Cornish with the jump serve. Skims off the front of the net. That one over. Palmo receives. Spencer with the set. Blocked in front. Nice dig there by Cornish. Osterling gets it across. Hammered over. Set by Spencer. Osterling gets that across. But too long on the kill. So back to a one-point West Shemokin lead now. It'll be Evan Wandersee who will serve it up here for Bishop Guilfoyle. Wandersee sends that serve into the net, so West Shemokin will get the ball right back here. See who's up to serve here. The newly subs, uh, substituted Christi, uh, Christian Sharp checking in here to serve for the Wolves. Sharp gets that across. Last hit here. Marauders can't get that one across despite their efforts. So West Shemokin with another point on the board. Now a three-point lead up 8-5 to five here in the first set. Sharp sends that one across. Received there by the libero, popped up, and trying to finesse that one over that time was Ryan Donahue. Unable to get it over the net, though, as West Shemokin picks up another point, now leading by four. Sharp sends that across. Popped up by Ian Bennett. Double hit is going to be the call, so West Shemokin doubling up now on the Marauders, up 10 to five. Sharp will serve once again here. Sharp serve. Gets across. Bennett trying to just dump the ball in softly, but couldn't get a good hit on it. And that will lead to a timeout down on the floor. And while we have a second, going to stick right here. Thank a couple of our sponsors here on this B&D Powder Solutions game night on High Top Sports Network. I want to start by thanking Battery Warehouse Plus. Spring is here, and Battery Warehouse Plus is ready to power you and your family through any outdoor activity, work, or play. Whether you're in need of commercial, heavy-duty, industrial, or farm, Battery Warehouse Plus carries a complete supply of power sources so that you can get the job done right. Battery Warehouse Plus also stocks motorcycle, ATV, UTV, and boat batteries so that you can enjoy all the outdoors has to offer. Best of all, they'll never sell you a new battery until they test your old one first. Check out Battery Warehouse Plus in Catanning at 13613 State Route 422 or visit their Butler, Butler location excuse me, at 469 West Cunningham Street. Battery Warehouse Plus, your one-stop battery shop. Now back to the action here. That one deflecting off of Osterling and out of bounds, so the Marauders out of the timeout pick up a point here, and now they trail it by five. See back to serve here, number 31, Noah Anderson. Anderson preparing to serve here for the visitors. Gets that across and a little hop serve. Spencer sets that one up. Free ball sent over by Cornish. Right back. Bennett sets up the play, running into the pole there, and that will be a point for West Shemokin. Just unable to get all of the ball there was Anderson as he rose up above the net. Kind of colliding with the pole there. Bennett setting that one up. Received by Cornish. Spencer setting up Osterling. And that will be another point here for Osterling and the Wolves. Back to serve. Gavin Sully or rather, uh, Owen Stover, excuse me. Free ball over. Cornish to Spencer. Logger pokes it over. Bennett dug out there by Cornish. 
Spencer to Osterling. Hit across. Free ball over. That one out of play. So West Shemokin adding another point now with an eight-point lead. Set there by Ian Bennett. Hit over there by 21 Anderson. Logger leaping in front, unable to get the block off there. So Bishop Guilfoyle will pick up the point here. They trail it by seven. West Shemokin's led throughout. Bishop Guilfoyle stayed a Titan there in the beginning of this set, but West Shemokin starting to take over. And Spencer, just a little how do you do, dumping that ball down on the front row of the Marauders for another point. Osterling sends it over. Set there by Bennett. And that one hit out of bounds, so West Shemokin picks up another point. Ezra Osterling set the serve here for the home Wolves. Gets that across. Received there by Bennett, or rather served over to Bennett. He sets it up, and then that one deflected. Cornish with the kill, deflecting that time off of Noah Anderson. A lot of power generated from that swing by Cornish. He gets the Wolves another point. Ezra Osterling back to the service line. And blocked in front. Spencer and Logger combine for the block and the point. Now an 11-point West Shemokin lead as they've gone on quite the run here. Osterling's serve goes into the net. So the Marauders catching a break here. They'll get the ball and set to serve will be Ian Bennett. The setter here for the Marauders. Sends that over. That one will go out of bounds. So West Shemokin getting the ball back here. Logger checking out of the game. Coming in, I believe, is Sully. That one dropping in. Noah Anderson deciding to let that one go. And that one falling in bounds. So West Shemokin now five points away from taking this first set. It'll be Luke Palmo back to serve it. He'll get it, well, almost spoke too soon. I was gonna say he'll get it across, but that is not the case. That ball travels into the net and Marauders back with possession here from the service line. It'll be Nick Anderson. Anderson serve, received there by Osterling. Palmo over to Spencer. Spencer will get it over. Time received by Miller. And inbounds there. What a kill by Noah Anderson. And that cuts West Shemokin's lead down to 10 here. Back to serve once again, Nick Anderson. Received there by Palmo, set by Spencer. West Shemokin picking up the point there, I believe. No, uh, I stand corrected. It's actually going to be uh, Bishop Guilfoyle getting the point there. They trail it by nine. Anderson back to serve again. Goes across, Osterling to Spencer. Cornish with the kill shot. And that will be another point there for West Shemokin as Cornish is killed. Deflects off a, a Marauder defender and soars to the back wall for a point. So Spencer set to serve. The cannon serve gets across and is received by the Marauders. And the kill there for Noah Anderson as he's starting to heat up here on that front row for the Marauders. Another point here for Bishop Guilfoyle. Up to serve now, the libero, Ethan Miller. Miller gets it across, received there by Osterling. Set up by Spencer. 
Hammer down, deflecting off the player in front of the net there. So a kill goes to Owen Stover. And now it'll be Evan Cornish set to serve here for West Shemokin. Popped up there, sent across. So West Shemokin picking up the point there. 22 to 12, or rather 23 to 12. I missed a point for them up some, at some point there. Cornish rockets that one across. Noah Anderson receives it. Anderson with the kill, deflecting off the hand of uh, Sully and Stover in front of the net there. Back to serve now will be number 11, Evan Wandersee. Wandersee gets that across. Osterling to Spencer. And hammered out of bounds there by Sully. So the Marauders staying alive here in this set. Trailing by nine. Once again, Evan Wandersee back to serve. That one goes short into the net. And now set point coming up here for West Shemokin. Coming in to serve, once again, Christian Sharp. Sharp serve, short. So the Marauders staying alive here. <laughs> Christian Sharp going over to the bench saying, I'll take a lap for that one after the game. <laughs> Got to love the commitment. And that one just soaring long. So West Shemokin picks up the first set victory, 25 to 15. Well, while we wait about three minutes for the second set to start, I want to take some time and thank some people, starting with the Franklin Village Shop and Save. The weather is warming up, so you know what that means. It's time to grill it. Stop into Franklin Village Shop and Save and Fuel Center and grab your, all your grilling essentials. Right now, boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs or buy one, get one free. Same goes for boneless center-cut pork loin chops and 15-ounce packages of Ballpark Franks. Both buy one, get one free. A value pack of 75% lean ground beef is just $1.99 per pound. And don't forget to stock up on drinks with three 2-liter Pepsi products at just $5 and eight packs of 20-ounce Gatorade bottles, two for just 11 bucks. Always save on gas with fuel, center, or with fuel perks, rather. so come on in to the Franklin Village Shop and Save and Fuel Center today. I also want to thank Steffi's Country Catering. With over 40 years of experience, Steffi's Country Catering in Adrian provides sumptuous home-cooked food served by a friendly professional staff to make your next event worry-free. Ask about their grazing tables and three-tiered cheese ball cakes. Sugar Rush Cupcakes by Tara are available by order, and be sure to check out their Facebook page for weekly Sunday takeout specials. Mention High Top Sports Network to receive a special 10% discount when you book your next event. Special thanks there to Steffi's Country Catering. I also want to thank Phoenix Physical Therapy in Catanning and Rural Valley. Life is all about motion, so orthopedic injuries are just a part of life. Phoenix Physical Therapy in Rural Valley and Catanning will help you recover, recharge, and rise to new heights after an injury by creating a program focused on you. Your life should be pain-free and filled with activities that you love, and with the help from Phoenix, you can get there. Schedule 24-7 online at phoenixphysicaltherapy.com or call today to make your appointment. And of course, I would be remiss if I forgot the official social media sponsor of High Top Sports Network, TGIF Solutions, the home of the Shellhammer Atwood Agency, the Brad Johnson Agency, the Bodie Agency, and McMahon Brothers Insurance. They can assist you and your loved ones with any insurance need, big or small. TGIF Solutions specializes in all types of insurance from auto, home, family, business, farm, and commercial. Visit TGIF.Solutions. TGIF Solutions, insurance that's right for you now and in the future. And we're about to get underway here in set number two on this B&D Powder Solutions game day on High Top Sports Network.
As always, thank you all for joining me here today. I'm Jake DeLuca, bringing you the action. Another you know, a beautiful day today in Pennsylvania. A great day for golfing out at Deer Trek. Another one of our great sponsors. And if you didn't golf today, you might have to wait a while because the weather is going to take a turn for the worst here coming up in the next few days. A lot of rain in the forecast as Bishop Guilfoyle jumps out onto the board first. Back to serve will be the setter, Ian Bennett. Bennett sends this one across, received there by Osterling, set up there by Spencer, and then hammered down and a point there for West Shimokin. I believe that was uh, Cessna there, or Cornish rather, who got the kill. Palmo gets that across. Bennett, that ball popped up. Cornish able to play it, and the quick set for the spike. Spencer to Solly. Point West Shimokin. That was a quick set too. We've seen. Uh, Spencer and Sully kind of developed that throughout the season, and that time worked to perfection. I think that's the first time that they busted that move out uh, in this game so far. Still early on, of course, in the second set. 2-1, to one, West Shemokin leads it. Bennett setting up Anderson. That one deflecting off of uh, Stover there. So we're tied back up at two, kind of mimicking the first set back and forth in the uh, beginning parts before West Shimokin really kind of took a stranglehold of the game at about point eight. That'll be Nick Anderson back to serve. He'll get it across, received there by Osterling. And a quick little how do you do by Eric Spencer, just dumping that ball in quickly, keeping the defense on their toes. West Shimokin now with another lead, or with the lead back, I should say. And the cannon, Eric Spencer, ready to send this one across. That one just dropping right in perfectly into the corner there. Now a two-point lead here for the Wolves. Spencer back to serve again. Received there by the libero, sent across. Osterling unable to save that one, so a point to Bishop Guilfoyle as they cut the lead to one once more. Back to serve, Ethan Miller. Miller gets that one across. Popped up there by Spencer, Palmo, Cornish trying to save it, but it goes off the basketball hoop above, and the uh, Hoop getting a point there. <laughs> Once again, Ethan Miller back to serve. Gets that one across. Palmo to Spencer. Sets up Stover, and that one pinned between the front blockers. So, Washimokin picking up another point. They break the tie now. Five to four is your score. It'll be Evan Cornish to serve. Hammers that one. Received there by Anderson. I think they're going to get him with a double hit. They do indeed get uh, number four, Alex Townall, uh, with the double hit. So West Shabokin back with a two-point lead. The largest of the set. Tied for the largest in the set. Of course, we're early. And I spoke too soon. We're back down to just a one-point West Shemokin lead now as Bishop Guilfoyle sets to serve. Heading back to the service line will be number 11, Evan Wandersee. Wandersee gets it across. Received there by Osterling. Hammered across there by Evan Cornish. And he will pick up another point here. So back to a two-point lead here for the Wolves. Palmo and Sully checking out. Christian Sharp checking into the game to serve this one. Also checking in for West Shemokin is Mason Fleming. So Sharp. That one skimming off the top of the net. 
And hammered down there by Noah Anderson. Set there by Bennett. And another kill for Noah Anderson. He started to turn up there in the end of the first uh, set. Picking up right where he left off. And now he'll head to the service line, Will Noah Anderson. A little floater over the top. And Osterling with the rocket shot. Kapow. Back now to serve. It'll be number 10, Owen Stover here for West Shemokin. Stover leaps and then serves that one across. To Anderson digging that one out. Third hit. That one goes over on the hit by Miller. Quick set there. And I think they're going to get him for a... Actually, they're going to get the Marauders for going into the net there. I thought they might have called a uh, lift there on West Shimoka. But either way, that will force the Marauders into taking a timeout. While we have a second, of course, some more light reading. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our game sponsor for today, B&E Powder Solutions Incorporated, with locations in Shalakta and Roaring Springs. B&D Powder Solutions Incorporated is a leader in spro spray foam insulation, excuse me, polyurethane coating systems and containment systems, and they proudly par partnered with Hearth to provide their clients with plenty of financing options. See your personalized monthly payment options within minutes without affecting your credit score. There are no payment pen penalties and no home equity is required. Just fill out the form on their website, BEPSINC.com, to find out your financing options today, or you can give Jason Elkin a call at 724-840-5204. Back to action out here on the court. West Shemokin leads it 9-6 to six here. They will have the service, and back to serve will be Owen Stover. Bishop Guilfoyle rushing to get set there. Received there by Ethan Miller. Nice block in front there by Spencer and uh, Mason Fleming. So that'll make it a 10-6 game in favor of the Wolves. Stover serves that one. Kind of forced to play that one. Noah Anderson gets it to his brother there, Nick Anderson. And that one falling... Helplessly to the floor there, giving Bishop Guilfoyle the point now, trailing by just three, seven to ten. Anderson serves that one, received by Palmo. Fleming. Gets that one across, and that will go down to the floor for another point. So West Shemokin, now a four-point lead. Ezra Osterling back to serve here for the Wolves. Osterling gets that across. Received there by Anderson. Miller. That one going into the net there. The Marauders unable to play that, so and now a five-point lead here for West Shemokin as they open things up a little bit more. Osterling sends that one across, but it will be uh, too far to the near side here and out of bounds, so the Marauders staying in it here, down by four. The setter, Ian Bennett, back to serve here for the visitors. Bennett gets that one across, received by Palmo. Set up by Spencer, and then hammered down by Cornish. That'll send Luke Palmo to the service line. He'll get it across. Received there by Miller. Set by Bennett. Hammered down there by Nick Anderson, but blocked in front by Sully and, I believe, Stover but blocked out of bounds. So that will give the Marauders the point. Back to serve is 21, Nick Anderson. Okay. 
Spencer saves that one. Palmo sets up Cornish, diving for the dig there. Miller keeps it alive, but they aren't able to make the play to get it across the net. So West Shemokin with another point. They lead it by five as Eric Spencer back at the service line. You can hear his serve a country mile away. Boom. Too far that time on the serve for Spencer, so the Marauders staying alive. West Shemokin leading it, one set to none. JV with two straight set wins for the victory in that game earlier here. Spencer sets up Cornish. Double hit, they're gonna call there on uh, Ethan Miller. So back up to a five point lead here for the Wolves. And back to serve now, it'll be Evan Cornish. Cornish rockets that one across. Anderson receives it. Miller gets it across, popped up. And Sully gets it over, but out of bounds, they're gonna say, back down to a four point lead for the Wolves. Set to serve, Evan Wandersee, senior outside hitter here for Bishop Guilfoyle. Ezra Osterling setting that one up and they're gonna call, I believe they're gonna call the Marauders into the net. So back up to five. Christian Sharp in to serve here for the Wolves. Gets that one across, received there by Miller. Hit over, dug out there by Cornish. Blocked in front there by uh, Noah Anderson. So West Shemokin picks up another point. Finally beat that four to five point lead. They kept bouncing between a four and a five point lead. Now they're up to, uh, up to six. And that one out of bounds. Osterling letting that one go through his hands. Thought he made, maybe made a mistake there, but in fact, that was the right move there as that ball just sailed out of bounds. And We'll see who's up to serve next here. Well, actually, I lied. They, I think they're gonna say that kind of deflected off of Osterling, so move this over. Noah Anderson gets that across. Received there by Palmo. Fleming just tips that one over the head of the defense, and that'll pick up another point here for West Shemokin. Back up to a six-point lead, and a timeout taken down on the court. So, time for some more light reading. I want to thank Carson Boyer Funeral Home. After losing a loved one, you can trust the funeral directors at Carson Boyer Funeral Home Incorporated to help you celebrate your loved one's life. Their staff has experience planning a variety of funeral services and can assist your family in honoring your loved one, no matter your personal preference, budget, culture, or religion. Carson Boyer, Boyer Funeral Home Incorporated prides itself on serving the rural valley community and surrounding areas with compassion, dignity, and respect. I also want to thank the fine folks at Sprinkles Neighborhood Market. Tomorrow is my favorite day, and you're going to hear why. Uh, Sprinkles Neighborhood Market, located at 151 North McKean Street in downtown Catanning, features an unrivaled meat selection and delivers quality ingredients at the most competitive prices around. Be sure to sample the chef-made sushi, always prepared fresh daily, and be sure to stop in for Sushi Madness every Wednesday for just $5. Pick up a homemade grab-and-go meal, take home a delicious custom hoagie, and remember to check out Sprinkles' Facebook page to hashtag save on meat. I told you, I tell you why tomorrow is one of my favorite days. Five dollars sushi at Sprinkles, and they're whenever they say it's made fresh every day, it's made fresh every day. You can watch them, you can go in there and watch them make it fresh. And uh, geez Louise, if it isn't the best thing, send sliced bread. Love sushi from Sprinkles. Little confusion there, West Shemokin with the serve coming up here. I believe that is Stover with the serve. It is indeed Owen Stover, so he gets the point there on the service. Now a seven point West Shemokin lead. They are definitely in the driver's seat in this one, looking to take a two sets to none advantage. Stover with another serve received there by Miller. Double hit that time on Ian Bennett. So that'll move us up to 2012, the year the world was supposed to end. 
But now the score of this volleyball game. Stover gets it across. Another one dropping just inbound. So Stover feeling it from the service line. Picking up two straight aces. We'll see him again. Stover leaps, gets that one across. Received there by Miller. Popped up by Bennett. Hit into the net and that will be another point here for the Wolves. Ryan Donahue couldn't get that one over the net. Stover will continue to serve here for the Wolves. Gets that one across, received by Miller, set by Bennett. Anderson blocked in front by Fleming and Spencer. So another point here for West Shimokin as they lead it by 11. Owen Stover will be serving. That one skimming across the top of the net. And that one hit into the net. So West Shimokin picking up another point as they are now on set point, 24 to 12. Stover getting it done here from the service line, looking to end this set here. Bennett up to Anderson. That one hit across, dug out there by uh, Cornish. Osterling hammers that one. Okay, a little confusion. The Marauders definitely thought that one was. Okay, so we will continue here. I thought that ball was out of bounds. So it will be Ryan Donahue set to serve it here for the visiting Marauders. Into the net, and that'll do it for the second set. West Shemokin takes it 25 to 13 after taking the first set 25 to 15. So a a little bit better in that second set for West Shimokin in terms of margin of victory. We'll see if they can get it done here in three straight sets and continue their strong season to this point here. While we have a minute though, I'm gonna take a quick break, rest the old vocal cords, and when we come back, set number three in about two minutes and 40 seconds. Keep it locked on to High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca and I will be right back. Tired of waiting around for your insurance company to get back to you after a claim? Avoid the trouble and place a face to the name of all your insurance needs. Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, a member of TGIF Solutions, provides a wide range of services and can promptly provide the service you expect when you need it most. The team at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates has expertise in all lines, including home, auto, life, business, and farm insurance. Stop in at Shellhammer Atwood & Associates, located at 331 Arthur Street in West Catanning, for a quote today. Life doesn't slow down when the everyday aches and pains have you sidelined. So get back on the field sooner with the care of Olson Chiropractic. Dr. Ryan Olson and his staff treat a variety of conditions for patients of all ages. Don't jeopardize your quality of life and the moments along the way. Let Olson Chiropractic help you find the healthier, younger you. Call Olson Chiropractic at 724-548-1040 to schedule a consultation or see a full list of services online at olson-chiro.com. Our meat crew has our meat case standing tall. Every day we cut fresh, every single day. We have great quality, we have great prices, you don't want to miss out, so make sure you come down and check us out. And also, look for our Facebook page, hashtag Save On Meat. We have a ton of great giveaways every week involving meat. You're not going to want to miss that either. We also have Chef Prepared, Chef Paul Prepared Sushi, Everyday Fresh, and Sushi Wednesdays, $5 sushi rolls. And you can win by liking and sharing our Facebook page, a Sushi Madness shirt. Thanks for all the support out there, everyone. We, we can't, can't do, do what we do without you. Come and see us.
your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Ryan Bowser in Ford City today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And welcome back, everyone, to High Top Sports Network. Jake DeLuca here, bringing you the action. West Shemokin going up two sets to none here after victories of 25 to 15 in the first set and 25 to 13 in the second set. And they will start with the ball first here. Ezra Osterling gets it across. Bennett just playing that one over. Spencer sets up Cornish, and that one will end up falling to the court as West Shemokin picks up the opening point of the third set. It'll be Ezra Osterling back to serve it again here for the Wolves. Gets that across. Dug out by Cornish. Osterling with the swing. Wyatt Logger having to duck his head out of the way there. Almost took it, took his head off there with that hit by Osterling. Now it'll be uh, the setter, Ian Bennett, with the service. That one will travel. Well, actually, it'll stay inbounds, they say. So, uh, yeah, it'll be the Marauders with a lead, a rare lead for them tonight. Ian Bennett serves this one across. Palmo receives it. Set by Spencer. Hit down by Cornish. And I think they're going to get uh, the Marauders for going into the net there. So, whoops, wrong team. There we go. Tied up at two apiece here as uh, Luke Palmo readies to serve. Gets that across. Blocked down in front by Cornish, but kept alive here by the Marauders. Have to get that one across. They will just let that one go. Do the Wolves out of uh, out of bounds, rather. So back with the lead. West Shemokin up three to two. Palmo, uh, Palmo hits it over. Bennett sets up Anderson. Dug out there by the Wolves. Stover will hammer that one across, and that one a little too much on that hit as we're tied up at three apiece now. Substitution coming on for the serve. It'll be Evan Wandersee. Blocked in front there by Anderson, and I believe also uh, Bennett was involved. So the Marauders pulling ahead by one here early on in set number three. Wander C ready to serve again. Gets that one across. Spencer will set up Stover, and that one will drop in for a point off the kill from Owen Stover. So tie it back up here at four. Eric Spencer back to serve. Spencer rockets that one across. And that one will drop right in on the near side corner for a point. So West Shemokin back with the lead. A lot of lead changes here early on in the third set. Spencer gets that one across again. Third hit, free ball over. Osterling saves that one. Palmo, gonna get Palmo with a double hit. Unfortunate, cause that rally was getting pretty interesting there. Going back to serve, it'll be Nick Anderson, number 21 for Bishop Guilfoyle. Anderson hits that one across, excuse me. Uh, across into the net, rather. And that will lead Evan Cornish to serve it up here for the Wolves. That one rifled too far 
as the Marauders tie back up at six. A lot of ties, a lot of lead changes here, but teams trying to find their footing here in the third set to take a little bit of an advantage at some point here. Received there by Osterling. Spencer, quick set there for Fleming. Dug out though by Wandersee and then eventually hit out of bounds. So West Shemokin will take the lead again. Another lead change. Back to serve now, number six. And in Lavely. Actually, I stand corrected. It will be um, Elijah Linhart. So back to a tie game, seven to seven. Marauders will get the ball here for the serve. And back to serve, it'll be Noah Anderson. That one will just drop down on West Shemokin's side and give Bishop Gilfoyle a one-point lead. Noah Anderson back once again to serve here for the visitors. That one will go across. Spencer setting up Stover. That one dropping in for a point. So, hey, another tie. Would you look at that? Owen Stover will serve it for West Shemokin. Gets that across. Saved there by Cornish. Set up to Osterling. Received there by Noah Anderson. Second hit there by Ian Bennett. Spencer will keep it alive. Cornish dug out there by Anderson. Hit over. Cornish to Spencer. A little off the mark there on the uh, pass from Cornish to Spencer there. That'll give another lead change here as the Marauders pull out in front. Nine to eight. And back to serve here. It'll be Ethan Miller. Miller gets it across, Palmo receives it. Stover. And then dunked down by Wyatt Lager. That'll tie us back up at nine here. And it'll send Ezra Osterling to the service line for the Wolves. Osterling into the net. Back and forth, it's like a pendulum here. That'll send the setter. Ian Bennett to the line to serve it here for the visitors. Bennett able to get that one across. Palmo quickly dumped over there by Spencer. Third hit, free ball. Palmo digs that one out. Spencer over to Cornish. That one out of bounds. So now a two-point lead, the largest, if you can believe that, of the third set here. 9 to 11 in favor of the guests. Once again, it'll be Ian Bennett back to serve. He gets it across, received there by Palmo. Bobbled around there on the uh, Bishop Gilfoyle side before falling down to the court and a quick timeout down on the court. Just a one point lead here for the Marauders trying to stay alive and extend this to set number four. Um, but while we have a second, I want to thank Ryan Bowser, State Farm Agency. Buckle up with State Farm to find auto insurance that fits you and your family's needs. Agent Ryan Bowser can assist you with all of your auto insurance needs, from collision and comprehensive to rental and rideshare. State Farm is the largest auto insurance provider in the United States, and Ryan Bowser can help you find the plan that's right for you and your family. Contact Ryan Bowser today at 724-763-9331. Also, a shout out to Schulteis Roofing Incorporated. They've been installing commercial low-sloped and sloped roofing systems for over 23 years and have evolved to become one of, the most uh, one of the most experienced roofing contractors in the state of Pennsylvania. Your number one choice in commercial roofing services, contact Schulteis Roofing Inc. today at 412-828-7192. Schulteis Roofing Inc. here for all of your commercial roofing needs. 
Back to the action out on the court. It'll be Wes Shemokin with the serve. Luke Palmo back to get this one away. And that one received there by Anderson, but kind of rolled off the top of his fingertips. And would you look at that, another tie in this one. As Palmo sets to serve again here. Pretty nice crowd here at West Shemokin today. Anderson, third hit. That one traveling out of bounds. So West Shemokin picking up the point and the lead of 12 to 11. Back and forth we go. So many lead changes in this one, in this third set in particular, rather. Palmo, Anderson receives that one. Bennett blocked in front, and what a block by Cornish for the Wolves that time. West Shemokin now with a two-point lead. Ties the largest by either team so far in this one, and two will remain the largest lead so far in this one. It'll be Evan Wandersee to serve it here for Bishop Guilfoyle. Spencer setting up Cornish. That one out of bounds and we're tied up again here at 13 apiece. It'll be Wandersee, excuse me. Wandersee once again to serve it. That one traveling out of bounds and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That's been the story of this game, 14 to 13 now. West Shemokin leads it with Eric Spencer at the line to serve. That one rifled into the net and Guess what, another tie. Back to serve for the Marauders will be Nick Anderson. Spencer setting up Stover. That one dropping in, free ball. Palmo and company decide to let that one drop out of bounds. And so West Shemokin back with the lead. Evan Cornish sends that across. Anderson dug out there by Cornish. Palmo sends over the free ball. Anderson. And that one will go out of bounds. Would you look at that, 15 to 15, another tie. And up to serve now, looks like number four, Alex Pownall. And trading serves are these two teams. It's kind of been the tail of the tape. Elijah Linhart and Wyatt Logger checking in. Linhart back to serve it here for West Shimokin, trying to turn the tides here. Lindhart gets that across. Dug out there by the Marauders. Hit over by Anderson. Spencer quick serve to Logger as that one just kind of tapped down there in the front row for a point for West Shemokin. Now a two point lead. That ties the largest lead of the game. We'll see if Lindhart can add another one here for the Wolves. That one will go out of bounds and there we go. A three point lead, largest of the third set here. Elijah Linhart gets that one across. Set up there by Bennett Anderson. Will pin it in between the front row there. So now just a two point West Shemokin lead as we will take a timeout here down on the floor. Marauders head coach calling the timeout. So while we have a second, I want to thank Deer Trek Golf Club and Event Venue, nestled amongst the pristine farmland in Rolling Hills between Catanning and Rural Valley. Deer Trek Golf Club offers a nine-hole golf course, driving range, and two-story event barn. Check out their daily dinner specials and catch the game on the big screen. 
whether you want to hit the links or grab drinks, uh, dinner and drinks rather, Deer Trent Golf Club and event venue is the place to be this spring. Just a two point West Shemokin lead. Bishop Gilfoyle will have the serve here out of the timeout. Back to serve will be uh, Noah Anderson. Play resumes here as Anderson prepares to send this one away. <laughs> as soon as, uh, as soon as Anderson went to go and serve there is still time running out from the timeout and the buzzer sounded so <laughs> that's why we'll have to reserve here anderson into the net there i'm sure he would have rather taken that first one it looked like it would have been in play but instead uh he'll have to settle for that one in west Shemokin now with a three-point lead ties the largest lead of the uh set here I went across. Palmo. Spencer. Quickly little a quick little dump in there by Spencer. Gives the Wolves a four-point lead as they try to close this set and the match. Stover with the jump serve there. Bennett sets up his teammate there. Spencer. To Stover, he gets it. To, he gets it to deflect off the front row. As West Shemokin picking up another point, going on a bit of a run here. I believe it is a 4-0 uh, run they're on right now. So, looking to add on to that one. As Stover gets that one across, Bennett sets it up, dug out there by Stover. Osterling hits that one down, but out of bounds, and the visitors will get the ball back here, down four. Heading to the service line, it'll be the libero, Ethan Miller. Miller gets that one across. Spencer setting up Stover. That one will bounce off a player and go out of bounds. So a five-point West Shemokin lead now. Got a substitution coming in. Ezra Osterling checking out. Chad Pinkerton checking in. Pinkerton, one of the eight seniors on this team, if I'm counting correctly. He'll get it across there. Received on the other side, set up by Bennett. Into the net, and West Shemokin picks up another point, two points away from taking this match. Oop. Service error there as Osterling checks back in for Pinkerton. A five point West Shemokin lead with Ian Bennett at the service line here. Palmo receives that. Logger goes for the kill, dug out there by the Marauders. Hit across, Palmo able to dig that one out. Spencer running into the net there. Or no, they get him with a double hit. Uh, rare. That's a rare mistake from Spencer. I don't think I remember him getting called for a double hit in any of the matches previous to this one that I've got the pleasure of calling. Bennett sends that across. Palmo down on his knees to save that one. And the quick little spike there from Eric Spencer brings us to match point. As Luke Palmo takes to the service line, little dude over there diving for the ball. The real MVP out there <laughs> gets a round of applause from his family. <laughs> Palmo serves that one, and that is anticlimactic. Noah Anderson lets the ball slip between his hand there, and that will do it here. So Wes Shemokin picking up a win, another victory in three straight sets, this time 25 to 19. So the JV able to get it done in two straight sets and the varsity able to get it done in three straight sets. So uh, JV winners of uh, two sets, 25 to 21 and 25 to 16 over 
uh, these Marauders. And as for the varsity team, they took set one, 25 to 15, set two, 25 to 13, and then this past set in set three, a lot closer, uh, 25 to 19. But they get it done in three straight sets once again. And I'm having a hard time remembering if West Shemokin has dropped a set at home. Don't know the facts for sure, but it doesn't feel like they have. Um, definitely a uh, great team, you know, no surprise. Coach Craig and Coach O down there definitely do a great job at uh, coaching these guys up. Uh, but before we hit the road, I want to give our B&D &E Powder Solutions Incorporated player of the game to uh, West Shemokin setter Eric Spencer, always a part of the play. Uh, no matter where he's at, he's going to find a way to uh, get the ball over to his teammates for, uh, for a successful kill attempt or something of the like. So uh, congratulations to Eric Spencer, our B&D &D Powder Solutions player of the game. Uh, but that will just about do it for us here. Uh, tomorrow is an off day for us on high top, but on Thursday, uh, it's supposed to rain, so I don't know how much baseball or softball is going to be going on. Uh, it's very doubtful at this point, but uh, we will have uh, volleyball, Armstrong Volleyball. Uh, Pittsburgh Central Catholic is coming to town to take on the Riverhawks, so you can tune in on that on Thursday. And then on Friday, we'll be here for West Shemokin's promenade, if you will. Um, that'll start around 7, so make sure you tune in there. Uh, for all the action, get to see the prom king and queen. And, uh, you know, hopefully we don't uh, butcher too many names. I know uh, one of the teachers here, Laura Bresnikin, she'll be helping us out with the pronunciation, but make sure you tune in there uh, on Friday at 7 o'clock or so, and we'll have that for you. But until next time, everybody, uh, stay safe out there, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening, watching, and tuning in to High Talk.